the Southern New Hampshire University Penmen, who are the East Region Champions for, if my memory serves me right, the first time ever. Coach, first thing, five sets, 21-19 in the fifth. What did it take to find a way to win that battle? Because that was just some of the most incredible volleyball I've ever seen in my life. If they're gonna tell you, <laughs> I'm gonna lie. You know? <laughs> I don't know, it's just to be, to be in the game. Okay, we have been work really, really hard to know just about the game, but mentally, and I think that's why the big reason we could stay in the game till 21-19, and I, I remember a, a, a Adelphi had one a match point, you know, and we composed ourselves the same way, and at the end, they deserve it because they have been working really, really hard for not just four months, but this season started last spring. Uh, I guess, Anna, since you're out there talking more about that fifth set when you guys got down, I think 19, 19. 18. Uh, you know, I mean, you face of adversity so far this year, but I think that's probably the uh, maybe the most stressful situation at this point in the season. Kind of talk about what you guys were you know, communicating out there and just how you kind of stayed together and obviously pulled it out? Um, honestly, it was a really hard match. Um, Adelphi is a great team, just as us, but I believe that the confidence that we started to build um, whenever we play as a team and the patience. Patience is a, a very big thing in this game, and I believe that we learn how to be patient. We learn how to trust each other, trust every teammate that we have inside and outside of the court. So I believe that confidence and trust each other was a huge thing in the last set. Claire, talk about a little bit, you know, the journey this year. Uh, you guys coming in, in in August and I assume having high goals, you know, for yourselves as a team, but uh, to, to get your first any 10 championship win ever uh, and then to make the NCAA tournament for the first time ever and not stop there, but win the regional crown for the first time. Kind of take us through that and maybe how the team evolved a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we came in in August and like you said, we all had the same goals. We all said we wanted to go to Seattle, win any 10, win the region and make history for our school and for this program. And so we all came up with those girls and then I've never been a part of a group of girls that work so hard towards the same goal and is in the gym anytime they can be working hard in school too, so they can work harder in the gym and just put in all of the effort to make those goals possible. And then, yeah, we just believe in each other and we trust each other too. And so that's a huge part of volleyball. And like Anna said, patience too, working with each other because it is a team sport and not an individual sport. So we did really well at like making sure we all were on the same track and all wanted the same goals and worked hard for that. To get to this point, you had to beat three teams from the NE10. How much does the familiarity that you had with your opposition, having played them during the regular season, and having played some of them in the postseason in the NE10 tournament, how much of a factor was that in your ability to make the adjustments you needed to make to get the win in this tournament? Um, it was it was hard because even though we played them before, they worked really hard to be here as much as we did. So we did have some familiarities in the in the games, but. It w we had to always adjust because they came up with different people, they came up with different shots, so we had to adjust all the games. And it was never really easy. We never came with the mentality, oh, we already beat this team, or oh, they beat us. Like, we have to calm down, or we have to be um, more aggressive. We just, like, again, patience. It took a lot of patience, a lot of trust in the process, because without the whole process that we, we went through, that would not be possible. And like Anna said, like patience was key because not only were we looking at these teams that we've already played, but they looked at us and saw that this is what they do. This is so then we had to also alter and change what we needed to do to beat those teams because those teams also worked very hard to be here. And so we had to work even harder, which we did. Coach, you ever been to Seattle? <laughs> <laughs> so when I moved from Brazil to America, that was the state and the city who uh, gave me gave me the first opportunity for me gonna be super special because 
without the help from people from Seattle, I couldn't do what we did today. So for me, it's gonna be really emotional. I, I, I love Seattle. I, I told Dan, maybe we're gonna do some tour. I know where the Space Needle, where the Starbucks, okay? So we're gonna have fun there, but we're gonna compete. We want to do, we want to show to everyone how hard it is to play at the NHL. Okay, and also I want to just thank you for uh, new for all the uh, resource they offer to us without their efforts to help us, we couldn't make it, okay? So it's much easier to make what we did in an institution who help us, not just athletic, but academic and mentally. Two player, how does it like? Has it sunk in yet? You guys are going to the Elite Eight. It uh, feels <laughs> great. Yeah, I've I've never felt this way before. No, it was yeah. so such hard work that I can even put into words how happy I am because I've never thought I was here. I would be here ever. Last year I didn't have the opportunity to play, and this year we had the opportunity to play. We came to regionals and we we're champ regional champions. I yeah. get it. Just like blows my mind. I yeah. I don't think. It, it's hitting. Yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm still processing it too. Like this is by far, and I think you'd probably agree, like the best year of volleyball I've ever had, and like the best team that I've ever played on, and most cohesive and most hardworking. So I'm excited for Seattle. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hey guys, we have to leave. You're not gonna finish it with a go penman again? Come on. Oh. Go penman. <laughs>